Hello. Welcome to Couch Fuel. And Merry today Christmas. Today we're doing something a bit different. We are. We're cutting down our, our favourite game of each year for the past decade. Yeah, so we're going from 2010 up to 2019, choosing our favourite game from each year. Another name we'll summarise by just going over our top ten years. personally. Okay, so 2010 first. 2010 was quite a busy year for me. Yeah, that, I think from making this list, what I found is that earlier years I had a lot more choices. Like 2010, yeah. 2011, yes. 2012, there was a yeah. lot, a lot of games that I could have chosen. A lot. Yeah from each of those years what? then as it gets more and more there's less and less games maybe it's because I've been playing less games Does it, than... is it because we've had less time to play the games or is it because the games are getting stale yeah well see that's what I'm thinking I'm not too sure um, I think it's maybe a combination of both mm. so what what did you pick Sean for 2010 I chose Mass Effect 2 ah ok that was on my list but I'm, I'm not picking it but... yeah I mean for me even though 2010 was a great year. Mass Effect 2 was definitely... It, Without so a doubt, it is the game I have played the most, probably, ever. Because you've replayed it to do all the different... I oh, I, I completed it um, at least 12 times. Jeez, okay. Wow. No, is that I one of the ones with different endings? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I completed was... it once and messed up and didn't save well, everyone. My... And then I completed <laughs> it again to save everyone. My very, very first time playing through, I managed to do it. Perfectly, yeah, you completely by accident. Yeah. <laughs> I made all okay. the right choices, didn't know anything about it, and then thought, oh. And then it wasn't until after I'd finished it, I realised that was the perfect ending. I got. Yeah. that was the really good ending. Mm. And then, so I went back thinking, how can I fuck this up? <laughs> like really, how I can definitely I did go this through up? it and do the bad, bad ending as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like I had to but do that thing, as well. Even the bad characters that you get are so good you want to oh you want to see more of them you want yeah. to see more of them even their DLC is fantastic yeah no oh, there's so much good stuff in so it. you'll have to tell me a bit about the game because the only thing I know about Mass Effect is that you go around the universe shagging people right that's the well, yeah. that's pretty much it <laughs> that's the, you don't you need just to know just sh shatter lot. your way through the game that's yeah. probably the only way I can describe it okay okay so what about you Oz what did you pick I picked Bayonetta oh okay um, That's a great choice. Speaking yeah, about going around the universe shagging. Yeah, yeah. Well, I picked it up on the 360. I was at uni at the time. And it was actually the first game that I got on my 360 that I completed. Okay. Um, I didn't actually complete anything up until that point. So, yeah, Bayonetta holds a special place for me. Um, I just liked the over-the-top weapons, the fact that she's got guns on her shoes for... For no apparent reason. Yeah, for yeah. no reason. And there was a move you can just do by pressing both the uh, shoulder buttons, and she just starts break dancing and shooting <laughs> in all directions. And that's pretty much all you need to complete the game because. <laughs> <laughs> well, for for the time, the game was visually stunning. Oh, it was. Yeah. 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 I still am a big fan of the design in it. Oh yeah, like it's the, fantastic. The actual character it was... design, all that stuff. Yeah. I just it wasn't my type of game. I think just the design of it, like even. It made it just look so fluid. All the movements and the fighting, the shooting, it was very, very well done. And, I, and the enemies. The enemies, is like... Yeah, they weren't generic enemies. No, and the fact that... It, I just like the storyline of the whole angels being able to try and come get you and things. And, oh, the storyline was mad. Um, like most of these games. All the been. sort of heavenly bodies with multiple faces. and Tom Pritchard. Yeah, it was just <laughs> it was just really really good. Um, I enjoyed the combat. I enjoyed the characters. I enjoyed the storyline. Um, so yeah, I really did enjoy that game. Yeah, and she she was a great character as well. Yeah, I thought that was really good. Yeah, yeah. so that, that, I think that's a really good choice. Yeah, multiple uh, cosplay opportunities as well. Yeah, it's <laughs> definitely one for the cosplayers. <laughs> All right, Craig. So what was your choice then? I had to pick Red Dead Redemption. I Again. mean, Mass Effect Two was close, but. I'd that been, I'd been burned then. on Grand Theft Auto 4. <laughs> and then I was like, you know what, I'll give it a try because it's Cowboys. Yeah. I want a good Western game. And by the time I'd got on a horse and was riding at the town the first time, I was in love. Yeah. <laughs> I think that would, that would just say for me. I loved it. Um, if, you wanted to pl if you ever wanted to play cow Cowboys, even in just like pretend play when you're a kid, 
computer games. No computer game before that, I think, captured being a cowboy in no. the Wild West. No, it was it was the perfect level of actual things and avoiding certain actual things. Oh yeah, I mean, <laughs> and the fact that it was just Grand Theft Auto in the Wild it's West. It just Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, it, it was. So, two thousand eleven. Two thousand was a really difficult year for me. Yeah, I, I had a lot of choices. A lot, a lot of good games in this. Um, yeah. There I was um, too many. So the new Mortal Kombat reboot came out. Uh, yeah, this was after the Mortal Kombat vs DC, which I loved. I thought it was, which was great. The storyline alone was great in that, that game. But the X-ray moves that they introduced with uh, Mortal Kombat was just fantastic. The fact that you could just punch someone in the spine and just see zoom in and break it. It's the fight goes. Like, I don't think it, that's awesome. Nah, see, I do because <laughs> visually, just to see that because you see it. And then it always goes that little extra bit further <laughs> yeah. and you see it break more. <laughs> it's just yes. over the top. And, Too much. And I love it. And you try and watch that and not go, oh, that's yeah. what I don't like. Yeah, but that's great. <laughs> For a Mortal Kombat game, yeah. Yeah. it's yeah. perfect. It's, it's appropriate. But yeah. that's not your pick. That's no. not my pick. Uh, my pick was actually Portal 2, uh, which is my favourite game of all time. Yeah, great game. Um, I love the puzzles. I love the storyline. Um, I love the characters. I love the plot twists. Um, I love the level editor. Um, I, I ended up spending um, months learning the level editor to create my own maps and things See, as well. Okay. I never, I never actually play around with that. Uh, the, the level yeah. editor. I wish I had because the way that game is designed, it's very difficult it, to learn. Yeah. Hammer but engine. How rewarding was that? Yeah, yeah. It was really rewarding. Yeah. Um, I managed to fix it up so that um, once you finish one chamber, a second chamber came crashing through the walls and the sort of chamber <laughs> destroyed. Uh, and that's then good. you had to use elements from the second chamber to solve the first and the oh, second okay. and things. Oh, so it was like a combination game. Yeah, yeah. See, that, that's cool. That, that. And I just like the fact that it let you do that. Just yeah. the amount of customization, the amount of um, just enjoyment I got out of the game was really, really good. Sounds oh, a bit super excellent. wonky. So I think we've got the same pick here. Have we? But I'm just going. I'm going to mention DC Universe Online because this was like that's a great game, it, but it was, only to a certain point. That's the problem. It wasn't enough in it. Yeah. But it was. I think that was the first time in mobile where I went on raids and stuff. Mm. Like I was in a, a super group of people See, and we did I'm, really good up until the servers crashed. <laughs> I think that was my problem with that was the fact I never got into a good group. Yeah, that. you really needed one. I mean, it, great game and obviously taking inspiration from other games. But yeah, I, I mean, who doesn't want to make their own superhero? Yeah. 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 So that, that was going to be my second choice, but my main one was Gears of War 3. I know, I went for something different. Oh, okay. but Gears of War Three is a great choice. It is. Uh, I just I went by hours played. I know the amount of time I must have spent on that game. <laughs> well, yeah, I played it for quite a bit myself. <laughs> continuously. <laughs> yes, continuously. So what did you pick then? Uh, well, I chose Ellie Noir. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't yeah. know it was that year, but that's another good choice. I mean, uh, it's a game like uh, I wanted to make a game. Like, if I could make games, that it would be something like this. Yeah. yeah. Um, I loved. Well, obviously, just the story alone, fantastic. Mm. The ability to solve crimes, explore. Yeah, I loved the character progression as well. Just yeah. o- obviously the the groundbreaking like uh, face <laughs> mechanics. Yeah, <laughs> the face mechanics. Yeah, yeah okay. They make them look janky, and I love. I like to find the, the words look... breaking and face mechanics. Yeah. <laughs> I can see those. But, you know what I mean? Yes. Like, it's actual acting in a yes. game. Yeah. yeah, visually, not just yeah. like voice acting, but like facial expressions. Okay, they did take that art mechanic and ha- is this person lying using their facial expressions? That was a bit on the dubious side. But yeah, tricky. Yeah, Certainly, but yeah. I, I, as a game. Uh, yeah, it was great. solid. Yeah, it's one I've not played. Really, yet. have you not? No. Oh, even I, I got all the DLCs because I wanted <laughs> to. That is just how much I wanted to play more of that game. Mm. Okay, I got up to disc two, um, and then I, something came along and I ended up putting it down. But the time that I did spend with it, I really enjoyed. That's yeah. Showing uh, you how long ago 2011 was that we're yeah, talking about two discs. Well, we'll see, it's, well, see it, it, it's what I thought the getaway should have been. Okay. If that makes sense. Mm-hmm. The getaway 
you guys played it. I made you play. Was it Black Monday? I think I made you guys play. <laughs> it's horrendous. It's a great game, but it's control wise. Is it though? <laughs> no, it's, it's like story wise. But then okay, you've got okay. Ellie Noir, and that's my pick of two thousand one. So yeah. Ellie Noir. Okay. Yeah. So you chose Gears. Was it just for the campaign or multiplayer? The multiplayer as well. The multiplayer as well. Yeah. The whole the whole experience. The, See, the campaign was really good. But I the, played the beta of that a lot. The multiplayer, the multiplayer with the horde and just the amount of time. Like I think as we as a group must have played oh, on we it played, so we much. We played a, a ton of that, yeah. It was great. The Nasher Wars we had in that game was a, was great. It was. Yeah, it the, was. the Horde, I, I loved that, that, um, that mm. mode. Because I'm always much more a co-op guy than a competitive guy. I kind of like the co-op competitive but I did play a lot of competitive yeah. in that as well yeah. I think when you get a good group of guys like what we did and we all kind of like get together for a night and play that mm. that was probably the last game I actually probably did that with properly I would say mm. not for me but it certainly was the one of the most memorable yeah that was an excellent game I, yeah so that's a good choice so that was 2011 yeah. Yeah, so that's yeah. a good choice. Again, 2012 next. 2012, it's yeah. got two standouts for me. Um, but I'll... I'll I've got one. Oz? Um, okay, so for me, this was um, another story game, actually. Uh, so my three games so far, they've all been story games. Yeah. That um, goes a long way to making a game memorable. It does, it does. And this was a lot story. So it was the Telltale Walking Dead game. Oh, uh, see, okay. I almost chose that. Season that was... one, um, you met uh, Clementine for the first time, um, a character that stuck with me for years, uh, playing see, the sequels and things. The one um, that stuck with me was Lee. Lee, he's he's a fantastic ah, guy. Great character. He is like, I think all the characters and Kenny as well. Yeah, it's a great character. It's because they all have their flaws. Yeah, um, that they seem so human. I was just say that that's definitely a game that the writing stands out for me. Yeah. The writing of the characters. Yeah. Yeah, it was the first game like that where I was actually drawn into it. Yeah, you yeah. cared for them. You I was wanted, actually exactly. really like, upset when I messed them. up something. Yeah. 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 You generally go, oh, I should have go back and redo it. No, no, <laughs> just carry on. Yeah. Like I accidentally let the college kid fall down the pit into the zombies and <laughs> <laughs> I felt so bad, but... <laughs> What's the first big thing like that? Is it the tractor thing? What, the very first very bit? Very first bit where it's like, oh no, I think it's, it's Duck in the tractor. Oh god, Duck. Could well yeah. be, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I remember yes. being really like, oh no, what do I do? Again, <laughs> Duck, Duck was probably the only one I didn't care about. Yeah, was <laughs> yeah, I didn't care about Duck either, actually. <laughs> Good. When it came time to shoot him, I just went, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think I had no remorse there as well. I think no. Really so, was Sean, what's, but, what's your yeah. pick for this year? My one was probably one that you guys might not of. I don't even know if you guys would have played this, uh, Gravity Rush. No. Yeah, I mean, I've not played it. I'm familiar um, ish with it. It was one of the first games I got for the Vita, and that that was that's the version I'm talking about yeah. because it was one of these games that, even though it came out on the Vita, it was a fantastic game and such a unique premise of having to cr control your own gravity field and use that to your advantage and. Mm really a unique way of exploring the world that they had set out. Yeah. That was really, really cool game and I played it right through and loved playing it on the Vita. Okay. One of the few games that I thought um, really stood out in the Vita. That and the Uncharted game because that was one of the few games that also uh, used a lot of the mechanics that the Vita was supposedly going to be yeah, okay. great for. Mm -hmm. Like the touchpad at the back, even using the camera and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. yeah, Gravity Rush, fantastic game. Really great character. So weird a concept. How somebody came up with that and actually made <coughs> it a viable game and great story, great characters. When the second one yeah. came out, that's when I started to hear yeah, about see, the original. I think, I think that, that's the thing. When the second one came out, that's when a lot of people jumped on. When it then came off of the Vita onto the PSN store but and actually went onto the you're PS4. You're saying that it was actually much better I, yeah, in its I actually native format. Thought, I it? thought it worked a lot better on the Vita. It, it sounds like they did mm. a lot of cool things with it. Yeah, it's, and to be able, it's one of the first things that I truly enjoyed on that, that, that console. Like, really enjoyed playing it because it was everywhere and 
I don't know, it felt because you're floating about, I ended up moving the Vita around. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Even though you didn't have to, it was one of those games. I, like you're someone's nan trying to play yeah. a racing game. Mm. Yeah, and it was beautiful looking. If you look at the screenshots of it, it's really, really cool. Nah, so that's <laughs> definitely my pick for 2012. Right. Nice. So, 2012, I had to piss, pick Ma- Mass Effect 3. Ah, see? Because yeah. I, 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 I booked time off work for that. <laughs> uh, I I I played the mobile game beforehand oh, to try so, and get so myself and that... extra bonuses, and I was really quite heavily invested in what was going on with that. Do you know why I didn't choose Mass Effect Three? Because the ending. No. Good. Nothing to do with the <laughs> okay. ending. Why? Multiplayer. Oh, I like the multiplayer. It wasn't that. I didn't buy it um, first hand. I bought it second hand from a shop. Okay. Mm-hmm. And because of that. Somebody had already used the code to right. play online, oh. which meant I couldn't. Oh, what? Yeah. Then you can get another code? Well, you, have to, buy buy, you have to buy another code, which I can't remember if it was like 15 quid or something like that. Mm. Jeez, it, okay. it was that time a lot of games were trying to stop second-hand games. Yeah. Right. yeah. Now, but the game itself was okay. It serves you right for not buying it. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it does. I'm not buying it, you. But I didn't pick it because I couldn't compare it to Mass Effect 2. Okay. I, I had I mean I thought about picking Mass Effect 2 but I thought 3 because it was the culmination of all of them and so what, what was it about 3 that made, made you oh it was the story it the story mm. it was I mean 2 I liked the suicide mission aspect of it but 3 I was quite like so was emotional it because, so about was, like yeah, oh no so let's not because let you were happen. already invested from in the first characters. 2 yeah, yeah absolutely yeah 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 I, I really I didn't know what was going to happen, and then when you lose Earth at the start of the first, uh, the third that game, that really was yeah. I was like, "We're going to kill these guys." Yeah, when I started that game, I was like, "Whoa, this is a start to a game. This yeah. is great. Yeah, this is really." But it, w- then, it wouldn't have been the same without everything that led up to it. No, I think that was that. That was my only thing. I think it wasn't a good enough standout game okay. on its own. That's okay. why I didn't choose it. But a good choice, though. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay, 2013 now. 2013. Okay. So, this was the year that I actually picked up a 3DS. All right, okay. Okay. Um, um, I picked up a Nintendo 3DS um, specifically to play Animal Crossing New Leaf. The um, whole reason you got a 3DS? That was the whole reason I got a 3DS because uh, I'd seen a couple of friends at work playing it. I'd just joined a new company. I'd made some new friends at work. They were all playing it and I wanted in. So <laughs> <laughs> so I ended up getting a 3DS and then crossing New Leaf and it was fantastic. Uh, this is the first sort of, I want to say, game where I really enjoyed the multiplayer. Not the first game overall, but the first game in this list that I've sort of enjoyed the multiplayer okay. because uh, going to other people's towns... Uh, running through the grass and just making a you know mess of everything. Fields of wheat. You see, I know, yeah. I, I know nothing about the game, so okay. I didn't even know I had a model. Uh, all I'm aware of is the Tom Nook meme. Yeah, <laughs> so you can visit other players' towns that uh, they've spent hours in single player crafting, uh, okay. you know, planting flowers in certain places. Uh, and you can just go and dig everything up. I was say, so is the purpose of going on the multiplayer to cause chaos or? Um, or to like share so or both both really because you can uh, give them uh, fruit trees that grow only in your town okay oh, right, in exchange for stuff. fruit right, okay. from their town cross pollination uh, so you can sort of trade things that way um, if they've got villagers that you like you can go and speak to them and sometimes the villagers will pack up and move to your town instead Right. Okay. okay. So one of my friends still, yeah, one of my friends still hasn't. (laughs) (laughs) Midnight (laughs) flip. That'd be amazing. Um, But one of my friends still hasn't forgiven me because I stole her favourite villager, uh, which was an elephant. (laughs) I mean, I can see that Um, elephant. Yeah, he was pretty cool. So uh, I, I, I only talked to him for a couple of minutes. Uh, and he decided to pack up and join my town. So she, she obviously did something he couldn't forget. Exactly. <laughs> so that sounds like a pretty good choice, huh? Yeah. That's if it, that if it's something that sold you a console, or in this case, a handheld. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So um, right, my pick of 2013 is The Wolf Among Us. Okay. Telltale, famous Tell, game. Telltale, yeah. Nice. Um, I missed the release of it. Like, I knew nothing about it and just discovered it when um, late night on th- on the 360 store and just discovered that the first episode came out. I was like, ah, huh, what's this? And I think at that time there was like three or four episodes of it out. Okay. Maybe mm. three. So play, played the first episode, loved every minute of it. Nice. Had you read Fables or no, anything? No, ne- no uh, prior no, experience. No at all. prior experience. That's kind of cool. Going in cold like something like going that. Going absolutely know nothing about it. Fell in love with the characters. Loved the take on it. Um, done really well. Then downloaded uh, episode two. Bought, bought episode two. <laughs> then played through that. Pl- uh, and then I was sold. And yeah. ever took- since, yeah. And now we've heard the, the news that there's going to be a Wolf Among Us 2 I'm so yeah, excited yeah that sounds good yeah I really hope it lives up to the hype I yeah, just found but out yeah. it was announced today um, I played through that all in one night of those three, three <laughs> okay. episodes uh, it was a very late early morning <laughs> um, then finished it when phone 5 came out and then went and played it all again Okay. loved it so that's definitely my choice for 2013 Okay. absolutely fantastic nice yeah. my my choice is kind of a cheat but it is also similar to Oz's in that it sold me on a, a right. console okay so I seen this was coming out and I was like oh I have to buy Playstation 3 then Metal Gear Solid Legacy Collection oh right. right okay yeah because <laughs> yeah. I already had the HD collection but this one had Metal Gear 4 well Metal Gear Solid 4 and the original two oh, Metal Gear so that games. was the and the Metal Gear Solid one download, if you so out, happen to so have an American. Out of them, what account. hadn't you played? Um, well, Metal Gear one and two, and um, Metal Gear Solid four. Okay, I have some questions. How did they handle the Psycho Mantis fight? Because ah. he used he used to read your memory card, and obviously with PS4 you don't have a memory card, yes. and you can't switch and you can't the switch the controller over yeah. to but plug you into. See on the. On the PlayStation 3, yeah, you played the PlayStation 1 game through an emulated version of a PlayStation 1. Right, okay. And it had a vir- it was called Virtual Console, and yeah. it had memory card and controller slots. So you could uh, actually... So you had to go into your menu to change, change it, to, it. <laughs> to the other port. Now, obviously, reading the memory card, I can't remember if they did something with that. Or if, or if they just said... That's a cool little oh. touch that they've actually made the effort but, to... Yeah. So. The, but they did, the they did ha- still have the thing where you change your controller port. Yeah. 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 Okay. That, that's kind that's of cool. cool. Yeah. Otherwise, it's just broken at that point. Yeah. yeah. But no, I enjoyed playing through the other games as well. I'd already played through two and three in Peace Walker and Metal Gear Solid One. So it was a very n- nostalgic choice that it, one. Then. Yeah. yeah. I hadn't played four before that though. Well, four and so four was, was great. Like yeah. four kind of set the tone of the direction that we're going to go for With the rest. With all the rest of the, yeah. of the games, yeah. Um, a very, a very. I don't know, mature kind of way of yeah. going through it. A lot of the times, world, uh, some well, of the time, yeah. Some of the time, but a lot <laughs> of the storylines before that was all kind of tongue-in-cheek in the way that they did it, I think. Or just batshit crazy in times. I think it was a little bit of both still anyway. Well, maybe, yeah. Uh, <laughs> there is some mad moments. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, 2013. So That's a good choice. It was yeah. a big year. Yeah, yeah, it was. Okay, so we are on to 2014 now. Cool. Uh, this was a tough one for me, I thought. Yeah? yeah, yeah. I didn't. I only had two choices. Really, just the two. There's only two that jumped out. A few, and I, but none of them really stood out. So, um, the one I chose was Valiant Hearts: The Great War. Okay. okay. And it was one that I actually didn't get to in 2014. I actually picked up a bit late, about 2016. I think I, think I got yeah. it as a Games for Gold or. No, I did pay money like for that. it. No, I, I got it free. Again, again, <laughs> it was one of these ones I went in, no knowledge about it, and very story driven. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was not expecting the way it went. Um, kind of threw me for a loop. Okay. Um, but yeah, again, st- even the puzzle aspect of it, like having to solve little puzzles to get into the next screen. Um, I remember just like oh, this is really cool, really well done, and for a very cartoony kind of game, dealt with a really hard hitting subject matter. I, really when I seen the trailer for it at E three, I was like, oh, that could be a that could be a big thing, like mm-hmm. yeah, well, it, a nice. It's a difficult topic to kind of do well. Yeah, yeah. I feel. To to do it justice, 
Yeah, and I, I felt that it did a really good job with it. And again, it was one that just snuck up on me. And yeah, it was one I picked up on randomly and didn't put it down until I finished the game. <laughs> yeah. Just in one one playthrough, uh, played through it. And then once I'd finished it, came back, got a week to play through it again and enjoyed it just as much. Mm. So yeah, that's why I chose that one. Really good. Nice. Um, I ended up choosing one that I didn't pick up again like yourself until a few years later. Uh, the Sims 4. Oh. So, okay. I used to really enjoy the original Sims game when it came out. Um, and I haven't played one since. So, I picked up The Sims 4 on a recommendation from a Giant Bomb, actually. Alright, okay. Yeah, I was watching um, <laughs> okay. one, of the, one of their series. And uh, just thought that looks really fun. That's something that me and my partner could both get into. Uh, so, I ended up picking it up. Along with the Pets expansion, oh, right, okay. uh, the Cats yeah. and Dogs expansion, and we had a lot of fun with it. I mean, uh, it was nice being able to. I mean, any game that lets you dress up in a giant hot dog costume and go to the bar <laughs> is just that's a win in my book. See, the th thing with Sims for me was always I always used to build the most extravagant house, build this fantastic house, and then get really bored with people's lives. I didn't really care about that <laughs> aspect of it at all. It was more the graphic design of the act yeah. in building the houses. Um, so have they added a lot more? They've added a lot more. Then? I mean, um, sort of the career stuff, the um, the interactions that you can have with neighbours. You can host birthday parties where all your neighbours will come over. Right, okay. Um, you can host all sorts of different things. Sounds like a survival horror. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was just really good fun and I really enjoyed... Um, making you can the customization on the cats uh, and dogs you can actually like um, customize it so you can create the same patterns your pets actually have. So you could give a dog an eye patch. Yeah. All right. So you oh, can oh, actually oh. create your own real life pet. In yeah. The yeah. You can. Right, okay. cool. You could just oh, paint directly cool. onto the cat to. Uh, can not, you make it not not that's dangerous territory. <laughs> Uh, but you can just sort of make it look exactly like your pets do in real life, and I really liked that. Or put profanity on them. Yeah, yeah. you can put. Okay. You can write shit on a cat. I'm liking the sound of this already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Craig, what was your choice? All right, so I picked Banner Saga. Yeah. Okay. okay. That, that's a good one. Uh, I I didn't know anything about it before it came out. I hadn't been following it. It actually was a humble bundle purchase. All right. Uh, I I just seen it. I was like, you know what? A couple of quid, yeah. I'll, I'll give this a try. See what it's like. And just because I liked some of the pictures I'd seen, I liked the art style for mm. the characters. So that was what drew you in. That was what drew me. Style. Well, that and and Vikings. I mean. Well, yeah. Yeah. Um, and I was actually really like blown away with how much I enjoyed the story. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And the combat stuff was okay. It was adequate. Um, it didn't put me off, and I didn't have a chore with it, but. It was the choices and the story and the the really desperate situations <laughs> type situation. See, I, I think I was drawn into that for the same reason as you. It was purely the art style to start with. Yeah. And then once you get into it, mm -hmm. the story It doesn't take long. No, that's the thing. It's, it's not a complex game. No. But it's simple and does what, it's do what it does really well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's, that's a good choice. Well, like that's a good choice. It, it was well worth it and I've since kind of... I had to buy all the other ones. Yeah, <laughs> price. Um, See, that's definitely good if it's it, it starting you off on a journey of buying all of yeah. them. It was a so clever yeah, idea for them. Yeah, it was. It was well worth it for them. I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool. I like. That's a good one. All right, so 2015 now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there was a, a lot of choices of games a for lot, this year yeah. for me. Yeah, I um, think there was a lot in this one. Uh, surprisingly enough. Um, yeah, there was about two or three I could have chosen on this one. I mm. narrowed it down because there were there were some I wouldn't go back and play again. I kind of I covered Metal Gear Solid last time, so I'm not going to go into that. But there there was a, a few other ones, and I just thought, you know what, what one made the most impact? What did I play the most? Okay. Um, and so I picked Grand Theft Auto Five. Ah, okay. Because I okay, yeah. again I spent a whole lot of time on that and. It was much, much better than the fourth one. I think, yeah, the, the main game, there story was the story wise, line, the three yeah. characters jumping about between them. Online yeah. stuff, ah, I couldn't, couldn't that, predict with that. Well, see, now the it's online nice. stuff has taken 
a leap ahead. I would like to take have a go at some of oh. that stuff as far as like so the the heists and things. Yeah. Well, see, that's the reason I've now bought it on PlayStation Four. Yeah. Purely for the online, nice. because the 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 um, heist you do, getting a crew together, even the storyline on that. They've taken it to a different level. It's real, and the support on it is fantastic. That's yeah. they must have made a mountain of money off that. Oh, they made so much the off online. this off off the base game, the, the online and stuff. They could have done fir- whatever they want. Doing it in first person mode as well. Okay. I mean that is yeah. intense. Driving a motorbike through traffic. I can yeah, see why okay. it's a great choice. And yeah, I is. think that's probably a lot of people's game of that I th- year. I to think be so. Yeah. yeah. I what mean. So I picked Mortal Kombat X um, again. Uh, I really enjoyed the over the topness, uh, the fatalities, um, the storyline as well. Um, I'd been following the storyline. I hadn't no, I hadn't been following the storyline up until that point. But then after playing it for a few hours. I went on Wikipedia and just spent the rest of the night okay. just reading through articles on what's happened in the Mortal Kombat universe. Well, as we say, they're not like going to like who's married, who's who's had kids with people. Is that not in? Yeah, X? yeah, it is. Yeah, I mean, um, that's a lot of story for a Mortal for a fight <laughs> for a fighting game. Yeah, yeah, um, so and then they story. decide to restart the universe. Um, oh, it's right. Okay, so they yeah, so there's time travel and everything. Oh, that's because so, oh, right. DC got involved. Yeah, see, I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. DC, yeah, that's yeah. DC's influence there. <laughs> yeah, that was mine. Oh, that's a good one. Um, what did you pick, Sean? The one I chose, The Phantom Pain. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I had really played a lot of Metal Gear since Metal Gear 2, to be honest. Yeah. A lot played with 2. This got me back into it. Okay. Well, I actually played Ground Zeroes. Okay. Um, but I didn't pick it up until late, which is just, I thought it was a little demo, but oh my god, the replayability. It's a little of demo, but it's like a There's full a, playable little arcade lot. game. And even just the ability to change the music that comes in with your helicopter <laughs> <laughs> sold me on the premise of the Phantom Pain. I have played so much of this game, it's unreal. The hours that I've been doing in. The, the joy of of going into a camp and there's a, a track playing on the, the tape yeah. thing that you don't have yet. Yeah. <laughs> and you're like, I'm going to steal <laughs> yes, it. Even little things like that. <laughs> then you throw in D-Horse. Oh. This horse that can shit on command. <laughs> so, so much. So when guys are chasing you in trucks... They spin out in the shit. Yes. <laughs> causing them. That's then, amazing. Yeah. I mean, my can And then you've got the added of the. Is it the fulcrum? Yeah. The parachute. Uh, Fulton. Fulton, that's it, yeah. Um, Fulton parachutes. Where so after beating you, a guy up. Well, not, not even that, but when you <laughs> upgrade it to the point where you can shit on command, spin out a truck, they're all confused. You sneak <laughs> up behind them, and then whew, away they go in the truck. Yeah. And you're like right back on the horse, <laughs> and then they get indoctrinated and join you. And then they're part of your crew. I mean, okay. how great is that? Yeah. And that's, that's another a base building aspect of Metal yeah. Gear Solid mm. alone is a game in itself. There's so much to this story. Is mental but enthralling. It's, I mean, it's just fantastic. <laughs> then you've got D Dog, this dog <laughs> you rescue in Afghanistan. Ah, oh, mm-hmm. D Dog. I mean, and then he's he, he's trained to a point that he's got his own stun knife in his mouth. Yeah. He's carries, stun carries the stun knife. Then he's got a knife he can just kill people. Rather than just train a dog to maul somebody to death, you give him a knife and train him. Yeah. That's Metal Gear Solid. That's Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> that is Metal Gear Solid. Then, not only that, but he, he can tell him to bark on command to get guys yeah, to come over. And just, oh, and then you've got other... Th- I mean, you've then got the sniper. Quiet. Uh, quiet. See when she shows up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That, that was a cutscene. Introduction <laughs> of that character in the middle of another mission. Yeah. I was like, has my game broken? What the fuck is going on? Yeah. <laughs> I, I thought it was a complete random, but it's built into that mission. It's so good. And then her sniper battle alone, so intense. There's been so many times that I've not noticed, but been right on the edge of the seat. Yeah. you're in the middle of a fight 
and you're like, I'm going to yeah. fuck Th- this up. There's bits where I panicked, but the worst one was I was sneaking into a base and D-Dog got hurt. Oh. I had to get him away. Yeah. I got him away, but I wasn't sure if he was going to survive. Now, stealth was optional for that mission, and they all got wiped out. Well, that's the thing. Because <laughs> they hurt my dog. The hardest thing in that game is to do a mission fully stealth. Yeah. What, have you ever tried it without any of your, your buddies? I don't think so. That's difficult. No, I think yeah. I was cheap. And even, <laughs> and even when you complete the game, there's still more. Yes. There's, there's still, still missions you go back, more. there's still more difficult missions that you start off with no equipment whatsoever. Yeah, I haven't done No that. buddies. Man, I, I think I spent about 15 hours on that alone. Just nice. Just okay. doing that one mission. It was so intense. I love that game. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Love it, and that's why it's my choice. So 2016. This was a tough one. I had a few for this one. Um, I didn't. I said I did. Um, I, I only did had Banner well. Saga 2. That's the only game I could think of from the list. There might have been other ones that were I played and that I enjoyed, but that was the only one that struck out as being... Ah, that would be my favourite game that year. Okay. Banner and Saga 2, so this is fro- led on from the following first Following on from the first about. one. Again, just the choices, the fact that the things from the first one carried across so I, to the second one. I, I, I've not played beyond the first one. What's okay. different about the second one that makes it your know, game? The the storyline takes a, a dramatic sort of jump forward in the way that some things are happening. Right, okay. Uh, and they introduce some new gameplay things. and So just overall improvements? Just, just, it's just overall more stuff. It's not like a... It's not like an alien to aliens divergence. Right, okay. uh, it's, so it's it's not. more of the same, but more new things of the same. Yeah, mm. so if it's not broken, it's not fixed. No, it's just it's just a full sort of add-on and improvement of the same thing. And you, a lot of the characters carry over. Um, okay. And the consequences is things that have happened in the first one play into the, the second one. Okay. So it, it's just more... More the same when you finish better. the first one, you're like, oh, I wish I could do some more of that. And you maybe go through and play it a different way. Mm-hmm. This lets you carry on and keep playing the same game, but get more out of it. Yeah. All right. Nice. That's cool. Okay, that's a good choice. Oz, yeah. you got... I would have to, it? at this point, I would have to flip a coin. Okay. Because there were two games and I still can't decide between them, even at this late stage. The second one. So the second one would be... <laughs> Would be World of Warcraft uh, Legion. Okay. Um, that was the game that got me back into Warcraft after um, I quit during Cataclysm. And I spent maybe a week just catching up on the lore, all the different characters, what was going on, and then I spent hours and hours just playing the game. So, what was it that got you back into it? What was it that drew you back in? <sighs> It was the storyline plus the new mechanics that they brought into the game. Right. Uh, See, they, I, I, know, I never Okay, really played uh, they brought a new so class what, in. What was... uh, they brought the Demon Hunter class in. I didn't actually end up playing that, but um, uh, that was one of the things they brought in, along with um, bringing back some of the older characters um, that had died out in the second expansion. Right, okay. um, so yeah, it was nice to sort of see the old faces, uh, get familiar with the old lore again, um, really spend some time um, doing the endgame stuff, which was something I hadn't done in ages. Okay. Uh, so I committed to raiding something like six or nine hours a week. Wow. Wow. Um, it's so a big was, commitment for the it game. It is. It is a big commitment. I was going. Well, it's I was well as doing the, other stuff in the game. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. Plus, they've got all the other stuff that keeps you doing stuff every day, like daily Fishing. quests. Um, and if you don't do your daily quests, then you don't get the rewards, and you don't, you know. So the stuff that pulls you back in it is addictive. Okay. It really is oh, addictive. Yeah. Um, the other one was Overwatch. Um, okay. Overwatch came out that year, and I really enjoyed that. I didn't end up picking it up until about a year and a half, two years later, um, but I played a lot of Overwatch. Um, it took me back to my Team Fortress 2 days, 
uh, just that side on side combat and yeah I just really enjoyed that as well uh, the characters were fantastic uh, each one was sort of designed just in its own quirky way um, and it allowed me to just really I don't know get involved Oh, I so that's yeah. a really good one. See, that's one yeah. I'd seen it and played a little bit, but never really got into. Okay. So it's good to hear that uh, it's obviously drawn a lot of people, or obviously mm. you can see how many people it's drawn in. Really yeah. successful. So I was kind of the same as you. I had two. Mm -hmm. um, but I did narrow it down to one. But the, the one that I was my close, close second was Uncharted 4. Okay. The reason was I loved first one second one third one loved them huge cinematics mm -hmm. um, great gameplay it's you're playing as Indiana Jones basically mm. um, Uncharted 4 was just more of the same but bigger and better okay. great storyline great way to round that off I think I really hope they just leave it where it is um, and maybe go and then they brought out this uh, add on storyline that the second game uh, introduces two new characters so that would yeah. be quite cool to see them go on my number one choice, though, had to be Doom. Okay, yeah. Okay, the remake yeah. of Doom, yeah. The remake of Doom. How you can remake Doom after seeing what they did to Duke Nukem <laughs> and not yeah. fuck up and make it fantastic. Okay, yeah. That opening sequence of you going down the elevator and timing the cock of the shotgun to the music. That's cool. Just go and watch that one bit. And okay. that, if that doesn't get you hooked, <laughs> then Doom just isn't the right game for you. <laughs> and even go, yeah, I'm, it's so perfect. The music, the gameplay, the just mental guns you get. You can just feel you're running about, kicking ass, shooting big ass aliens. Great. I loved it. Very nostalgic, but loved the way they changed things around. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I just had so much fun playing that game. I don't think they did anything technically fantastic. It was all very well done, but mm -hmm. nothing major. It was just such a fun experience playing yeah. through it. And very well done. So that I, I had to choose Doom. Great. Yeah. What have I got for this? So 2017 now. Uh, again, that's a, another one that I've what, got a couple Have you got for. loads? No, okay. not loads. I've, I've got two. Okay. I've got one. Two. Well, Oz, do you want to give us your one now? Destiny 2. Okay. Oh, what Destiny 1 should have been. Uh, yeah, so I, I didn't I pick up that, Destiny that's 1. Is it, though? Um, I just got into number 2 on the back of the multiplayer. Um, well, I picked it up along yeah. with Steve and just had fun with it. It was uh, just, you know, a good shooter. Um, I just enjoyed playing it. it yeah, was... I, 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 I'm on the same. I enjoyed it, but I played Destiny One. Hated yeah, it right. Because okay. I was missold on it. Okay. It, I was missold. It was meant to be a game. And it was a game. This quarter of a it game. It was a multiplayer game. It was a quarter of a game, and a... then you had to buy the DLC to actually play yeah. the full game. No, that's no, because even how... when you bought the DLC, it wasn't a full game. Well. You, that's even worse. It was just <laughs> multiplayer. That's Destiny, all it was. De 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 Destiny 2, they seem to have learned all their lessons. Really well polished game. Mm -hmm. I think it's a yeah, great game. Great multiplayer game. Yeah. That shooter combined like the Halo feel of it. which I'm a yeah. huge Halo f franchise fan. I love that. I, yeah. I, I, yeah. It was very much like Borderlands and Halo kind of combined. Yeah. Okay. Truly. I really enjoyed uh, the weapons upgrading those. Oh, they were um, me and my brother got into it. It was just really... Good fun. I haven't yeah. played two. I mean, I've played it a little bit, but nah, two is great. I, I enjoyed really, one, really and I like couldn't it. be bored with two. I think that I think, but I actually think one hurt two a lot because it was so poorly received. Okay, the first yeah. One, I think it, two didn't get the recognition it really deserved because mm -hmm. it really was a fantastic game. Yeah. Microtransactions though. Yeah, but yeah. I tend to not really bother with them anyway. People tend to get really hyped up on them. Oh, they're oh. terrible, they're terrible. <laughs> Don't do them then. If we want to talk microtransactions, that brings me nicely onto my pick All for right. 2017. Okay. Uh, because I had a few games, but the one that I, I, as much as I feel dirty saying it, Star Wars Battlefront 2. Okay. Oh, no, I agree with you. Great game. Yeah, it's a lot, so much fun. Yeah. Like, I know they, they very, very much set it up to be give yeah. us all your money give us all your money yeah. Yeah. but, and, behind but that, then they, they capitulated for a small 
amount of time. Yeah. And but in that time, I got access to all the stuff that I wanted. And then they and brought it back, and when I went back on, I was like, oh, that's cool. I don't need to worry about these things. I got a few things. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. from the daily grind. Yeah. But I, it wasn't something where I felt I was chasing anything or pressured into paying anything. I think the, mm -hmm. the difference with that though is behind all those microtransactions was generally a truly good game. It was. Yeah. It's a really, and the really added fun bonus game. of that that solo uh, like campaign. The campaign's not bad. It's it introduced some like interesting characters. Oh, yeah. Really cool way of actually seeing that Star Wars universe. Um, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Multiplayer, brilliant. So much fun. Yeah. I, I mean, I remember me and you playing a lot of that. To we start. played a lot of it. <laughs> yeah. And I spent a significant portion of like <laughs> last Christmas holidays. Well, not playing, last Christmas, was that the year before. That's the reason you got. That was why I bought PlayStation that was when 4. You yeah. PlayStation 4, yeah. Mm. Yeah, because um, like a few of my mates had it and I was like, well, I want to play with them. You got it, and flying in formation in X wings. Yeah, <laughs> and this attack and stuff. It quite actually fun. reminded me of the old Battlefront. No, yeah. it wasn't as good as that. No, it wasn't as good as that. <laughs> but it remind. I mean, just to remind me of that, mm -hmm. you've you've done something right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so, what, what was your pick? I struggled between two. Um, okay. Again, a close second was Resident Evil Seven. Okay. 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 Yeah. Um, again, to re. Well, we don't need to talk about Resident Evil 5 and 6. We know how they bad, didn't, bad they They didn't make Resident Evil 5 and 6. Yeah, uh, they, it's just so bad. And then, to come out with Resident Evil 7. 7 in totally the PR. left field of the yes. style they went. Yeah. And, to add in the virtual reality aspect of that. The VR is something that's going to stick with me for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even have the helmet on. <laughs> I mean, I came in the first time playing that extremely hungover, unable, put it on, almost threw up. Oh, God. Um, I could barely handle reality, never mind virtual reality at that point. <laughs> but yeah, what a game to play virtual reality. Yeah. You're jumping away from, from like that girl attacking you, trying to chop off your hand, and it uh, freaked me out. Great atmosphere. If ever been a game that I thought yeah. benefits from VR significantly, it was that one. Yeah. So well, my, was... my number one has to be Horizon Zero Dawn. Cool. Okay. Um, I can't fault it. I got that to play at Christmas. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I can't fault it. Beautiful world, beautifully designed. Love the concept of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, you're basically hunting mech dinosaurs. Zoids. Brave I mean, versus Zoids. Yeah, I mean, and then be able to <laughs> climb them and take them down and hunt them. Then you've got all the sort of tribal aspect. It's all like post apocalyptic, and then everyone's reverted to tribes and yeah. clans. Mm -hmm. beautiful and then you're exploring the world trying to find out what happened why it happened yeah. why you're special that kind of stuff and great so much so I borrowed it from my brother-in-law okay because mm -hmm. I didn't own it I loved it so much finished the game bought the DLC I didn't own the game you bought the DLC without owning yeah. the game because you <laughs> wanted to play it because I wanted to play more of it that's pretty impressive that shows how much I loved that, that game yeah not enough to buy the actual game well, no, I have it now. But at the time, <laughs> I know what you mean. I you know, know what I mean. Yeah. To buy a DLC, to, to commit to game, buying the DLC when you're only borrowing it, that shows how much I loved it, and the fact I went back and played it again on the hardest difficulty again. <laughs> that's yeah, that's pretty um, yeah. I really want them to make a second one. Um, missed out on the board game. Wish I'd picked that up, but that's a different topic. <laughs> but yeah, that's definitely my one for 2017 okay cool okay 2018 now we're getting close 2018 um, another one I had a couple for yeah I had quite a few yeah so um, my, my first one just deserves super honourable mention mm -hmm. Overcooked 2 just before because of the rage that it gave uh, <laughs> it's probably one of the it's, over it's probably one of the best that. experiences I had that, that year it was one of the most yeah. awkward and painful <laughs> but it was amazing the fat controller got launched and yeah it um, was fun other than that I would I would say Red Dead 2 yeah. really good um, emotional I haven't um, played it Starlink which you said that you've picked up yeah. recently I have and I must admit it's a uh, Better No Man's it is, Sky. It is Better No Man's Sky with, with toy spaceships. With, with toys, yeah. I mean, clipping it onto the controller is oh, it's, weird. No, it's scary. Because you think you're going to break you it, You do right? think you're going to yeah, break yeah. that, yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. I thought it was the only one. <laughs> no. I do break a lot of things. But yeah, I'm surprised at how good that game is. Yeah. 
I, I just sat It's a lot of fun. Well, I sat down and played it thinking I'll have 20 minutes. Hmm. It was like two and a half hours later. Yeah. And I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought it was good. And I'm looking forward to getting more time with it. Yeah. I it's picked so, it up, but really I still cool. haven't played it. Do you get oh, it on the Switch? Uh, it's good. Got on the Switch, yeah. Yeah, that'd be interesting to see. Because you were yeah. Star Fox and stuff. That one yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think you have to... <laughs> Is it not know, a thing that, that you put the... thing that you put the Joy-Cons yeah, in? Yeah, And the... then you clip it onto that. Yeah. Oh, right, okay. Okay, I, I can see that. Yeah. Uh, so... I'm going to save mine. Oz, what did... Okay. What did you um, so I went with... Mine's a bit of a cheat, really, because it's a remake. Okay. Um, in, a, in a sort of way. It was Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. Okay. Uh, which was a remake of the original Red and Blue. Um, I just really enjoyed it. Um, I picked it up. I liked the integra- integration it had with Pokemon Go. So I was able. That aspect of it, yeah, it? Oh, so okay. I was able to go out into the real world, catch my Pokemon, uh, come back home, um, and then From just import like them. Australia or Thailand or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then <laughs> import them into um, the Let's Go Eevee game. Okay, that's cool. I, I like that. I, 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 yeah. I didn't realize. I, didn't I knew really there was some kind of cross. I didn't that was an actual game aspect. Yeah, it. yeah. That's, so, that's good. That was a clever thing for them um, to do. It was good. And uh, I like the fact that they've added loads of stuff into the uh, original game. Like, uh, you can ride on your Pokemon. So it's not just a remake. It's a complete reboot, really. Yeah, in a way, yeah. Um, so you can ride on Pokemon. You can um, have one like following you around in the world. It's all 3D. Can you wear one as um, a hat? Yes. Yes. Um, oh, excellent. Eevee comes along. He, he'll sit on your head. Uh, you can wear him as a hat, and then you can dress him up in hats as well. Oh, I see that. So, Hatception. Yeah, yeah. So does it still have like the breeding aspect to it as well? And stuff um, like that? No, they hadn't included that with the original. Oh, All right, so I wasn't sure if that was something they'd No, no, it was, uh, no, they haven't included that. So oh, okay. Uh, okay. It was just sort of like a standalone that game. That always felt a bit weird um, to me. Yeah, I mean, I with the original... Like I liked with the Game Boy games that you could just sort of um, trade, you know, take it with you, trade with people. Yeah, if your friends managed to catch a thing, you could swap it. Yeah. It's um, like sticker book. And they've sort of got all that in this one, so... Uh, yeah, it's good. good. A lot good of the choice. original features. Okay, so good. what's yours? Well, like I said, I've got two. Um, but to be fair, the n- number one was a clear winner. But the, uh, the one I'd like to mention <laughs> is one that I had my eye on until I played it and loved it was Conan Exiles. Okay. Okay, yeah. I normally don't go for games like this. Um, then I seen it and thought, okay, I need to get in this. There's a mm-hmm. MMO style. Yeah. 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 Um, but in Co- obviously in Conan um, verse, I whatever you call it. Um, I love the Hyperborea. concept of just being you're hung on the cross Conan comes and set you free and then goes right go fucking survive <laughs> that sounds like Conan yeah, and yeah holy crap I played a lot more of this game than I would like to admit <laughs> and, you just have <laughs> yeah um, it's great I loved it and okay. the fact that I then discovered that it was made by only a couple of guys yeah okay. which is something I it's couldn't pretty, believe because yeah. the Impressive depth of this game then, yeah, yeah even all the little hidden secrets graphically it's fantastic as well for a game of that size it really does well um, I loved the fact you can climb the world as well mm-hmm. okay. but you've got that affects your stamina oh as you get into some climbing really up things and getting tired like, it's not oh good. shit I'm not going to make this I need yeah. to <laughs> um, but yeah number one had to be and I think you've probably I chosen think I've same, probably chosen Spider-Man same. Yep, Spider-Man <laughs> on the PlayStation. Um, okay. I haven't played this. So. It's, it's phenomenal. so good. Yeah, I've heard it's good. Like, you know being a little kid and you wish you could be Spider-Man? Mm-hmm. Well, you can be Spider-Man. This is the closest <laughs> yeah. you will ever get. Pretty much is okay. the closest you can get and to it. the fact that it's not an origin story at all. No. He's already been Spider-Man for how many years? Like eight years or something? I think it's around eight years. Something, years, like, years yeah. something like that, yeah. Um, so he's an established Spider-Man. He's older. He's like in his, what, mid-twenties now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so he's moved on with his career and then you see all little hints of all the battles he's had yeah, previously you get, with the Green Goblin and it's yeah. very much established that there's been a lot of history going on yeah mm. I, the fact is you don't you've seen the origin of Spider-Man oh, I was surprised at again. the story it was such a good story such a good take on it yeah, yeah. It's, mm. and 
But then to build such a great game on that, that you just you can you lose hours just swinging through the city. Yeah, and That's you can cool. easily spend a whole day of your gameplay without actually yeah. worrying about doing anything in the game. Yeah, mm -hmm. one of the few games that I have ever one hundred percent completed. Yeah. And that's including the DLCs. That's cool. I'm, I'm doing the I've DLC over Christmas. One hundred percent it. Um, the new game plus. Oh, um, I am, as well. Yeah. Everything. I, I've done everything in this game possible, hmm. and all the different costumes you can get. All okay. the different costumes. I, mean, I love playing dress up great. in a game. Yeah, so, yeah. dress up Spider Man, and there's so many, and there's still so many you could add. Yeah. But I'm hoping. I'm really looking forward to the second one. Yeah. I don't know how hmm. they're going to top it, but I'm sure they'll do a good job. Yeah. So that had, had to be my top game of that year. Yeah, same here. Okay, so um, 2019. Um, this year. I did not play a lot of games this year. I didn't play a lot of games this year. Um, the only game that I played that came out this year was Gears of War 5. Okay. Uh, so that's my, my choice. That's my pick as well. I, and I have played and enjoyed Outer Worlds, but it's not game of the year. But I actually <laughs> think it's probably a good winner because I played Gears of War 4 and it was okay. Gears War 5 though. See, I skipped 4. But 5 a big improvement. Oh yeah, like 5 feels good. Well, l l let me ask you this. Did you understand the relationship with the characters and uh, get to know them and When I started playing the storyline for 5, the the Does it give you a previously recap? on yeah. Gears 4 the mm. recap so felt very four. much like those oh, so right so there was like half an hour of stuff happened. Yeah. But it's such a vast improvement and Getting on the little skiff and going around all the snow and that's the sand. That's quite fun. That's really cool. It's quite fun. Having all the little side missions and that. It's, it doesn't feel like an on-the-rails shooter. No, mm. it doesn't. Which is, uh, which is something with Gears always felt like. You're playing through a story and you're doing all these things, but you have to do them. Yeah. But it's adding that little bit element of exploring, finding all these little hidden missions and that. And that really added a lot, I thought. I felt it was... a enough of a departure that it felt fresh again yeah and putting her uh, cat as the yeah uh, uh, as the yeah Kate, front. Kate and Del um, both pretty Del was just your comic relief but he was good yeah, uh, he, he loves his robot he, he felt real yeah yeah and yeah. I think that was on Gears they, they weren't stereotypes uh, again oh it, it's truly like, but it always has been yeah but again it was a product of good writing I think yeah based on a good foundation of gameplay and it feels like a Gears game still yeah yeah, it still felt so, like yeah, a Gears game so yeah I totally enjoyed that so no, oh, cool what Oz what pick? about you um, I picked Untitled Goose Game oh okay, okay um, I should have known that yeah I've been obsessed with this game <laughs> any any game that can get me to buy t-shirts is <laughs> a win um, no, is it the novelty of being a goose and annoying well, a man? I think it's the fact that I loved geese before the game came out anyway. Oh, okay. Um, because I live out in the country where there are a lot of geese and they do dickish <laughs> things like keep you up till like 2am. So is game. it more Stockholm Syndrome than love them? <laughs> <laughs> the fact that I was able to then inflict this on someone else, just make their life hell by honking, it was just great. So you related to the man quite a lot then. Yeah, yeah, living out in the country, yeah. Um, some honourable mentions, uh, the Link's Awakening remake. Okay. Uh, that was really good. Um, Pokemon Shield and Sword, uh, I picked up that as well. So yeah, uh, they're good. I'm enjoying it. Yeah. I've played um, about 30 hours so far. Okay, okay. that's pretty good. Um, and I'm still not done with it, so... Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, but no, uh, it was definitely an untitled goose game for me. Uh, I think, I guess, it's a good choice if you're playing that much and getting so much enjoyment out of it. Definitely. Yeah. yeah, and it's a simple game. There's yeah, I mean, it isn't even the game I've played the most, but it's the game I've enjoyed the most. I think it's one of these games that anyone can pick up and see what their appeal exactly. is. Exactly. Yeah. Or instantly go, "What the hell is this?" <laughs> <laughs> I think that kind of tied together <laughs> yeah I think uh, at first you go what the hell is this a good and then you, like, go, and then you play it more and go alright I'm hooked yeah yeah. I mean and even sort Bob. of explaining it to people <laughs> like um, I was playing my Switch while I was under analysis and 
uh, one of the nurses came home and said, are you playing so much shootery? Uh, you know, thinking I'm going to be playing, you know, Call of Duty or something. Call of Duty yeah. or something. And I said, no, I'm playing as a goose. <laughs> <laughs> and did she approve of that? Yeah. Yeah, that was, apparently that passes the OK filter. Oh, OK. Ah, OK, so. <laughs> That's good. So, yeah. That is our, our that's, my game. Game. that's 2019. Yeah, yeah, that's 2019. So far, huh? OK, so now we're going to run down our... Our, our own personal, our personal list. Based lists, on, yeah. uh, based on how we prefer them. How we're, yeah. What our favourites. Yeah. Our, yeah. Our order. The top ten top of the ten ones that we've named. Out of the, the ten years of games. Yeah. Um, from worst to best? But yeah, so starting at number 10 then. Okay, so number 10, I put Banner Saga 2, uh, just because the, the first one's more original. It's, yeah, it's okay. a new thing. Mm -hmm. This is a sequel, it's more of the same. Uh, then Gears of 5, um, which again, it's it's a newer game, it's a secondary one. Mm -hmm. uh, it's good, but it's not quite top of the list. Uh, GTA 5 then, um, it's getting pretty tricky to get into that point. Then Banner Saga uh, is number four, number seven. <laughs> so or, num number six. See, if I'm marking something out of ten, that's good. If it's <laughs> ten, but in this I'm counting down the way, so the higher numbers are worse. Uh, so yeah, Banner Saga. Then uh, number six is Star Wars Battlefront Two. Uh, mm -hmm. EA's Star Wars Battlefront Two. Uh, number five is Gears 3. Mm -hmm. uh, then number four is Red Dead. Number three is Mass Effect 3. Uh, then number two is Spider-Man. Yep. And number one, I'm going to have to go Metal Gear Solid. Cool. That's good. That's the, a solid the, list. Uh, the whole collection. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Gets a, it, it's kind of a cheat again. Uh, so. <laughs> so, Oz, what's your so, number 10? My number 10, I went for Mortal Kombat. Uh, just because I played it the least. Uh, Sims 4 at number 9, uh, Destiny 2 at number 8, uh, Pokemon Remake at number 7, um, I went for Untitled Goose at number 6, I've got a couple of scribbles on here where I've rearranged some things yeah. because uh, it was difficult to choose, yeah, it's difficult to all as you get into the higher numbers it gets difficult to choose, yeah, it does, it really does, uh, I went for Bayonetta next, uh, the Warcraft expansion at number 4, uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf at 3, Walking Dead at two, and then Portal two. I've played it fifteen times <laughs> or more. Um, that's got to be a number one. It's got to be, uh, is it? Yeah, that's a, that's a good. I didn't think you were going to choose anything else for number one. <laughs> right. So my ten are starting at number ten. Valiant Hearts: The Great War. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great game, just not as good as the rest of them on this list. Uh, number nine, Gears Five. Again, it was great. Still. Yeah, it might move up the rankings as the years go by. Yeah, I think I might look, look back and have more uh, fond memories of it. But number eight, Gravity Rush. Yeah. Again, I don't know. I think it was a great game, but probably not one I would go back and play a lot of. Mm. Um, so we've got number seven is Doom. Okay. Again, loved it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number six, I have chosen Ellie Noir. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um. Could have been my number one. I was <laughs> yeah, the way you talked but, it up. Yeah. yeah, but number six. But um, looking back at it, it was great. But there was a few other games that were quite similar. Okay. I just didn't do it as well. Uh, so number five, Spider Man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, again, because you'd seen a few Spider Man games before, it was nothing new. It was just better done than any other yeah. ones before. Oh, okay. Number four, four was The Wolf Among Us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just because it was so unique and story driven, and knew nothing about it and loved every moment of it, mm -hmm. but that are hard to put it in the top three. Number three had to be Horizon Zero Dawn. Yep, it's just great. Number two, Phantom Pain. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I thought it could have quite easily been number one, but I was number, say. One, number one has to be Mass Effect Two. Yeah. It's my number one game, I think, of all time. Yeah, the fact I played through that game, at like you say, at least fifteen times, yeah. and every time it's been different. I kind of want to change my pick to Mass Effect Two now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can I, still go I back fully, and play it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I get you on that one totally. Yeah. I um, mean, the characters, 
are so good. The story is phenomenal. And that last mission. Yeah. And even all the little character missions you have to get them on to do. You do to something to recruit the everyone and then you do something else to get them on side. Yeah. It's you've got a little yeah. bit of progression with everyone as well. And even the introduction of new characters that are blended so well with the story. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was just a great I think if somebody had made a film that well, it would have won film film of the year. Yeah. The fact that somebody made a game like that. Yeah. And made it work. It's just phenomenal to me. But yeah, that's my number Solid one. Solid choice. Yeah. I think they're all good. Yeah, yeah, maybe we all, all got good. our number ones. <laughs> right, maybe Craig you didn't choose Mass Effect 2. But <laughs> <laughs> Metal Gear, you get the whole thing. And yeah, then uh, Spider-Man yeah. for number two. I haven't played a Spider-Man game since the PlayStation 1. So yeah, I no, I think big big change from them days. Yeah. I mean, it, it's been coming with the te technology, so I could see it. But the fact they got the story so well, yeah, is what sold me on it. that. But then that, that's why it was it some was very emotional five. moments in it. Yeah. Yeah. In in many respects. But yeah, but then you, they've got so much back catalogue of emotional stories to choose from. Yeah. Yeah. With that. Yeah, um, but it's not like. The Wayne's getting shot. Uh, well, I, I, I am a bit bored of that. It's, yeah. uh, it was it was nice there to was, see the there was different it. things that they managed to do. And again, not being an origin story, we didn't have to go through yeah. Uncle I mean, Ben I think again. We've mm. Done more origin stories. Yeah. So. But yeah, I mean, I, it's difficult to put those into top ten. But oh, very difficult. After yeah. I I could I could discount a couple because it was like, well, I've got another one on the list that's better. <laughs> um, and then it got to the point where I was like, oh, I really don't know about all these ones. They're all together and quite. Yeah. quite very uh, close together in my heart and difficult to pick so I just went purely for it's I quite think interesting the ones to that see how a few time. of us like, that had similar games listed them slightly different yeah. yeah for different reasons as well yeah, yeah. Uh, but those are our top tens yeah and I believe that Colin and Steve will be doing their top tens yeah, so and be more. if you want to give us your top ten please put in the comments that'd be great to see and then we'll have oh, the... Have you got any choices that you think we got wrong? Yeah. Oh, I'm sure there will be some <laughs> that we got know. wrong, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you will be wrong, but you're more than welcome to put your comment in. Uh, and then I, th I believe there will be a little bit of a recap with what was overall, through all of us, voted the best of the decade. Yeah, I think mm. that would be interesting to do. Okay. So, cool. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Merry Cheers Christmas. Cheers for joining. <laughs>